Hi, my name is Vikas Kundala. I'm also called Nathan. So my full name would be Nathan Vikas Kundala. Anyways, I'm here today for you to guide you with Indian art and culture syllabus. Indian art and culture. There's two parts the prelims and mains architecture, literature form a very important part of Indian mains syllabus, GS1. For prelims, see there's been a behavior pattern change in prelims with UPSC. Until 2015, UPSC used to treat art and culture as part of history. Just like you prepare ancient India. So along with ancient India, people, students or aspirants used to study Indian art and culture. Now that has changed completely. Now, art and culture is being dealt completely as an independent subject. UPSC is starting to give extreme focus on Indian art and culture. As part of art and culture, you must remember that there are three parts of Indian art and culture that needs to be studied. One is visual arts. Performing arts, miscellaneous. Visual arts are those art forms which you visualize painting, sculptures, architecture. Those kind, where the original art form itself is performed before and then the viewer visualizes or watches the art performed after the performance. In performing arts, it is performed while the viewer is seeing, for example, dances, music, these. What are miscellaneous arts is, for example, folk traditions or you can say festivals, these, on top of these, remember, this is only art, there is something called culture and culture is where we see literature, Philosophy, religion, this kind of stuff. Culture is what, what I call way of life. That's how people live. It's a tradition of life. It's a way of life which is carried by the people. For today's class purposes, we will be primarily seeing the visual arts dimension of Indian art and culture and yeah for your information purposes there are a few books which needs to be referred number one introduction to fine arts very good for architecture CCRT website NIOS Culture Material and the most difficulty with Indian Art and Culture is we don't actually have a single book which I can say yes purchase this book and read it's not like any other subject Indian Art and Culture doesn't is actually spread across different books different traditions and different sources 
For our purposes today, we will see what are Indian dances. See, there are two kind of dance forms that we have in India. One is the classical, the other is the folk. We have eight dances which are classified as classical dances by Sangeet Natak Academy based in Delhi. Folk dances are numerous. It varies by state, region, tradition, etc. Within folk dances and within Indian dances, we will today see Indian classical dances. Classical dances. The treaties of Indian dances, or you can say the parent book of Indian dances, is Natya Shastra, written by Bharata or Bharata Muni. Bharata Muni wrote Natya Shastra as a treatise for Indian classical dances or Indian dances actually. And Natya Shastra Me Bharata says dances are not just for entertainment but rather a means of worship. Basically, what he says is Indian dances are Nitya Gayana. Plus Vandana. Vandana prayer, Nitya Gayana, continuous singing, continuous singing and prayer is what Indian classical dances are actually called by Bharata Muni in the book Natya Shastra. For today's purposes, just understand, dances can be classified as follows. On the basis of performance, I classify dance or generally Natya Shastra classifies dance as two types. Natya Dharmi and Loka Dharmi. Natya Dharmi are those which follow the rules of Indian dances as mentioned in Natya Shastra. Loka Dharmi are more regional variations. So Loka Dharmi dance forms are about pleasing the people, not about performance. Whereas Nati Shastras, Nati Dharmis are about following the rules of dance form. Now that's a classification on the basis of performance. On the basis of style of presentation, or what I call presentation, we classify dances into two types Tandava and Last year, Tandava Natya, masculine, Last year Natya, feminine or feminine, Tandava focuses on rhythm, music, movement, Last Natya focuses on grace, sensuality, on the basis of presentation, two types, basis of performance, two types. Dance itself has three major divisions or three major parts. Nritta 
नाट्या नृत्य नृत्य प्योर डांस शुद्ध नाट्य नो एक्सप्रेशंस नृत्यास डोंट हैव एनी एक्सप्रेशंस नाट्य इज अबाउट ड्रामा When you add drama into a dance form, that becomes an art. Nritya is about expression. See, when a dance form wants to express an emotion, then it's it's going to be called nritya. Coming to today's classical dance forms, understand that we generally have nritya and nritya as obvious parts of indian classical dance natya does not seems to be playing a very major role in indian classical dances as of today these are three classifications or three kind of indian dance forms so on the basis of performance we consider it as natya dharmi and loka dharmi natya dharmi dance forms are those which follow the rules of natya shastra loka dharmi dance forms are those which follow the rules of regional art they are about appealing the local people or regional forms so tandava as i repeated focuses on rhythm music movement lasya focuses on grace sensuality and even expression expression of the dance form is more important in tandava and as i repeat to revise just remember nritya natya nritya are three important parts of indian classical dances natya is basically a dance with drama nritya is just a dance no expressions nothing only movement of the body nritya is basically expressions or you can say dramatic expressions or an emotion being involved in the dance form <laughs> Largely Indian dance forms only use nritya and nritta. Nowadays we don't actually follow natya. Having said this, this is only one introduction of the Indian classical dance forms. There are more parts of Indian classical dance forms. There is mudras, there is navarasas, there is parts of Indian dance form. There is other books which are written to actually give uh, Nandikeshwara's books etc., which actually give you more details about Indian classical dance forms. and total eight classical dance forms we will be seeing in the next session thank you for your time.